I'm back. What is up, everybody? It is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. And another big thank you to my man, Charlie, for coming over and doing some guest videos. But yeah, as most of you know, I was just on a little vacation, right, uh, with my girlfriend. I went to go meet her family for the first time. And in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what that was like, as well as some of the other stuff I did. Um, first and foremost, I'm a workaholic. I work constantly. <laughs> so this was really nice. I'm glad uh, my girlfriend invited me to go out on this trip. We actually went because it was her little brother's 11th birthday. And uh, and yeah, like I, I work constantly. I work at a rehab center. We are 24 seven, 365. I work on Thanksgiving, I work on Christmas and things like that. So it's very hard for me to pull away from work and especially all the stuff I do for all of you on The Rewired Soul. But if any of you listened to my last video, you were following me on Instagram, so you still got a little bit of content. First and foremost, like, what an awesome trip with my girlfriend. Like, this is the first long distance trip that we've done, and like, I don't get sick of her. I don't get tired of her, and I ain't afraid to share with all of you. Like, the whole time, like, you know, uh, I was just having a great time, great conversations, having fun, sang some songs in the car, it was great. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh man, like we've never gone on a long distance trip, am I gonna hate her by the end of this? <laughs> but no, we had an awesome time. But yeah, we went up there, um, it was up in Northern California, Sacramento area, and yeah, it was it was great, it was great to meet her little brothers, I played some video games with them uh, on the Xbox with my son, and it was awesome meeting them. But, but, these kids, these kids and their WWE wrestling video games, ooh, they beat me so bad. They beat me so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I did manage to get around in Mortal Kombat, but that was about it. But yeah, uh, I, I got to meet uh, my girlfriend's lovely grandmother, her uh, awesome mom, and yeah, we hung out there all week and we did um, a little bit of sightseeing and stuff. Um, one of the cool things is one of my best friends, this guy right here, he, uh, uh, me and him got sober together, my man Sean, and he actually just moved up to the Sacramento area, so we were able to have dinner with him and his fiance, and then we also went up and saw their new place, which was gorgeous. I wish I would've taken more pictures. It was just, Oh, um, it was amazing. But yeah, he's one of my best friends. I met him when I first got sober and love that guy, love him. And it was great because my girlfriend got to meet him and uh, and his awesome fiance. So that was really, really cool. The trip went great. Like everybody was asking me like, and my girlfriend like, are you nervous? Are you nervous? Are you nervous? And both of us were like, not really. Like, <laughs> I don't think I'm a bad dude. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't all that nervous, you know? Plus family members love me. But for all of you who don't follow my Instagram, the last day took a very bad turn. Very, very bad turn. So they have two beautiful cats. One is Matilda, the other one is Jack. Apparently Jack is a little standoffish, but Jack loved me the entire time until like the last two days. And I think he had it out to get me. The very last day, right, me and my girlfriend, we were gonna wake up early, say bye to her brothers as they go off to school. And we were going to head to Oakland, to Jack London Square, take the ferry over to beautiful San Francisco, one of my favorite cities on earth. But at 4.30 in the morning, I had to go to the bathroom and then I decided to walk outside real quick and do my terrible habit of smoking. And I go outside to have just a few puffs of a cigarette and I go out out and I just see this little freaking furball take off and I'm like wait a second was that was that Jack was that Jack the cat right so I started looking around and I saw a different cat so I'm like okay maybe that wasn't Jack but I'm like freaking out and anxiety's happening and I'm half tired it's 4 30 in the morning it's pitch black outside there's a ton of bushes and I go back inside I can't find Jack right I looked around for 30 minutes while the whole house is asleep and I'm walking front to back front to back front yard backyard front yard backyard right and finally I pick up the other cat to kind of consult me and I walk into the bedroom and I'm just sitting there and I'm like, should I tell my girlfriend? Should I wake her up? Should I wake Tristan up from her beautiful sleeping state, right? And finally, I just kind of shook her on the leg. I'm like, something happened. <laughs> She's like half awake, she's like, what happened? And I'm like, I think Jack got out, but I don't know if he's in one of the bedrooms 
can you go check? Because I didn't want to like walk into her mom's bedroom. That would have been bad. So uh, yeah, the cat was not in the house. So the last day of the trip, everything's going swimmingly with the family and I lose their freaking cat, right? <laughs> so we, me, Tristan and her mom go look for this cat for like 30 minutes, 30 more minutes. So I already looked for 30 minutes. Now we look for 30 more minutes. We walk all the way up the street, can't find him. We come back inside and like Tristan, couldn't go back to sleep. I decided to sleep for a little bit, refresh and go look for this cat. I woke up and I was so mad. I love cats so much, but like I found myself getting very angry with cats. I'm like, stupid cats, stupid cats. Why don't they come when you call your name? Why do they want to take off? Why don't they just come back, right? And I was so upset. But I went out, I got some coffee and I came back. I brought Tristan some coffee and I'm worried that her family's gonna hate me. And I decide to go look for Jack. And I'm driving around real slow her neighbors thought like I was a crazy person. I'm driving around looking for this cat. And right before I come back to the house, like I look and I see that little fur ball and I just throw my car in the park and I just get out. And I'm like, all right, Jack, it's you and me now. You and me, right? And this cat took off so fast, so fast, I'm like, oh! And I chased him, I chased him. My car is like parked somewhere else with the windows down because I was looking for the cat. I book it after this cat and he runs back to the house, I come inside <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I found Jack, I found Jack. And Jack actually went to the backyard and I was like, okay, cool. So uh, he jumped back over the fence and then I go out front to go see if I can find them. And then finally Tristan texts me. She's like, all right, you can come back. So they put some food at the back door and Jack just waltzes in, waltzes in like nothing happened. He just went exploring for a few hours. So Jack, if you're watching this, ugh. But anyways, now back to the good stuff. So one of the things that we did um, while we were in uh, Sacramento was, uh, I started buying a bunch of books. I started buying a, bu a bunch of books, right? So. All those books. <laughs> oh, and then I got one for my son, Bob's Burgers Mad Libs. I'm not gonna go through my whole book haul. I might do another uh, video. These are all mental health books, by the way, and they're great. I'm actually gonna link them down in the description below if any of you wanna check them out. Um, but anyways, I do wanna talk about just two of the books real quick. Um, <clears throat> I came across this book. If you follow me on Instagram, you heard me ranting and raving about how amazing this book is. It's called Unbleep Your Brain. All right, and it's by uh, Dr. Faith G. Harper. Amazing book so far, amazing, and I can't wait to review it. Like, she she has this very, like, just kind of candid way of talking. Obviously, there's some cursing in it, but it, it's great because sometimes I think we take mental health too seriously, and uh, she's very fun. She reminds me a lot of my mom, who's also a psychologist, but yeah, this, this book's great. Um, anxiety, depression, a lot of it has to do with trauma. She teaches about neuroscience. Pick this book up. I'm gonna do a full review, but just, just go buy it. Just go buy it right now. Just, just stop what you're doing and go buy it. So I will do a full book review, though. Then I got so excited about this book that I went out and got this book. But actually, my girlfriend actually um, surprised me with this book. This one is called uh, This Is Your Brain on Anxiety, What Happens and What Helps, another book by uh, Dr. Faith Harper. So that is my next one. But yeah, I could not set that book down. So <clears throat> lastly, uh, my girlfriend and I, we did end up making it to San Francisco. <laughs> we make it to San Francisco on 420 and we go to Hate Street and like, oh my God, like it was, nothing but weed, just nothing, nothing but weed at all. Like everybody, they were having like 420 festivals out there and stuff. Uh, we did stop by this amazing uh, vegan burger joint. It was awesome. And uh, and yeah, we spent a few hours there. We headed um, back down through California, but we ended up uh, stopping in Fresno. That's actually my hometown. That's where I got sober too. So we went through Fresno. We had dinner with my lovely mom, two of my friends, uh, one of my friend's wife, who I just found out is pregnant. And it was one of those weird situations because I saw her like standing like this like, with a hand on a belly. And I was like, is she pregnant? And then she like went to the bathroom. I'm like, yo, Jason, she pregnant? <laughs> and she is, so congratulations to them. Um, and then my my other friend, uh, he, he got a girlfriend and I got to meet her. It was awesome, we had Chinese food at one of my favorite places. We went out for ice cream. And uh, yeah, then me and my uh, girlfriend, we stayed in a hotel for the night that my mom so graciously got us. And then in the morning, this morning, um, I got to have breakfast with my dad. So like, it was crazy just in this week alone. Like, uh, I got to meet my girlfriend's family. 
Um, we got to hang out with her friend Shelby and uh, her husband Brandon. He whooped my butt in Forza. Uh, that was fun. Um, we saw all of my best friends and she got to meet my parents too. Like, what an amazing trip. Aside from the cat thing, that cat thing really jacked me up. But all is well, all right? But anyways, I'm back. Um, I hope you were all doing well. I hope you were all nice to Charlie. I was in the comments too. I know you guys were. Um, but yeah, I will also uh, put in the description down below another link to Charlie's channel. Awesome guy. Again, thank you so much, Charlie. Um, but yeah, I'm back. I'm gonna get the ball rolling again. I'm gonna be doing a lot of new stuff on Instagram. I'm kind of taking my Instagram in a different direction rather than just doing all of my like, hey, here's clips from the YouTube channel. Like I wanna make it completely separate. So I'm gonna try that, see how it goes. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. It's displayed right here again, as you can see. Follow me on Instagram, all right? But anyways, uh, if you have anything that you're struggling with, if there's any topics that you want me to cover, uh, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. I'm back and I have a whole laundry list of video ideas, but as always, I'm always here just to help you out, to help you out with your mental health, all right? But anyways, I'm glad to be back. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, do me a solid. And if you're new here and stumbled across this video, make sure you click that little round subscribe button. All my videos are meant to help you out with your mental and emotional needs. And if you're bored, click or tap on one of those thumbnails, check out some other videos on this channel. All right, thanks again for watching. I'm glad to be back and I'll see you next time.